Sodium Punch Solutions express serious concern for the life and safety of its national vice chairperson and its government, His Excellency Sibarat, following repeated violent attacks perpetrated by all persons in broad daylight with what appears to be tacit support and cooperation with elements of the Soviet Union. All these incidents have been reported to the police and widely captured by both mainstream and social media, but we wish to leave them out here for the purposes of record. On 6 January 2023, Honorable Arati was attended the film of the father to Paul Okombo Ayem, the MCA of Moikanga Wood in South Mugirango constituency, when the area MP, Honorable Sipana Susuo, unleashed violence with his wounds shooting arrows and donors in the full glare of the police. The Governor Arati, who was the target of this attack, was safely evacuated by his security team. The incident was reported at the Aparambe police station, and to this date, no one of the known culprits has been brought to court. <coughs> On the 8th of January 2024, as the governor went about to issue adversary forms in Yangkembene, in the same ward in South Iran, armed men stormed the meeting with council, rending the air. Many people were injured in the resulting stampede. Some, including the governor's security meeting, suffered casual wounds and uh, the DCIO here has confirmed to me that that gentleman is still in office. It turned out in, uh, in the hospital, it turned out that those gunmen were in fact police officers. One of the officers captured firing at the crowd with an AK-47 rifle it was identified as one Kevin Lagarde of force number 260865. He is a police constable attached to Bondo Oso. Others are Simon Muridi of force number 119319 and Peter Muke of force number 2391. All stations at Nyanchua police station. It is suspected that Kevin Lagarde has been transferred to Parliament Police Station since that is. One officer, Maurice Kiambi, is believed to have been ferried from the station of duty in Langata, Nairobi, to participate in this ADF attack. That such a present attack can happen in a country supposedly run in accordance with the rule of law is beyond the This incident was reported here at PC Police. Uh, Central Police Station and the OP number is here which we have provided to Mr. Kimwele the OCPD and he says the matter is under investigation. We take note of the loud silence of the CS in charge of national security, Honorable Kimi, and the Inspector General of Police and the entire security operators. Their policy appears to be see no evil and hear no evil. It is this silence coupled with the fact that no action whatsoever has been taken either against Honorable Osoro or any of his wounds in police force that leads us to the conclusion that this is a state-sponsored violence approved at the highest level of the security command. Following the public outbreak over the incident and fearing a backlog, it is now understood that the police of DC under the leadership of the county command, Mr. Charles Cassis, are now planning a diversionary raid on the governor's residence in the guise of searching for firearms. We take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms the actions of wonderful sorrow and the police and demand as follows. Number one, that the IG of police must immediately transfer the KC Police County Command. Number two, that action must be taken against the officers identified in the attack during the issuance of the Basa reform. They should be interdicted as they await their date of justice. Number three, that at the very minimum, Honorable Osoro should be asked to record a statement to the police if he has become too powerful to be arrested. Number four, that the independent police oversight authority must immediately commence investigations into the abuse of police power in Kisi County. Lastly, all these things must happen within the next 14 days, failing which the party will pursue other avenues to ensure law and order in Kisi. In the meantime, we wish to state that should any harm come to our party national vice chairperson and governor of Kisi, Honorable Simba Arati, as a result of any subsequent attack against him, the person named here, the person named here, including Honorable Oso, Police Commander Charles Kesses, and the IG of Police will be held personally responsible. Yeah. That is the end of it. Kwa sababu, tulikuja hapa kia mani, ili kuweza kuwasilisha waraka huwa kwa kuwasilisha kwa sasa. Na tumezungunza na pamoja na DCI wa area hii, na wamejiakikishia kwamba eh, wamechukua zile statements za wawusika kote eh, ambao walimusika katika mambo haya. Lakini wameni nipitishia eh, kwamba pia bado mwishimo osoro hajaandika siku kutia. Wameniambia kwamba chini ya siku kuminandi watakuwa mekamilisha uh, uchunguzi kuhusu matukio haya yote. Lakini sisi tunasema kwamba kama chama tuko katika hali ya hatari. 
ya kwamba maisha ya mheshimiwa uh, gavana wa Kisi wana simba arati yamo hatarini na wale ambao wanahatarisha maisha ya gavana si wengine bali polisi wenyewe wakiambatana na mbunge wa Mgirango Kusini wana Silvana Zosoro. Na mimi nataka kumwambia Silvana Zosoro kama kijana mwenzake ya kwamba taifa hili limetoka pale kwa gumu sana. Na hawa wa Kenya kwa maisha yao kwa sasa wanataka viongozi ambao watatoa hope kwa wananchi kwamba taifa hili linaweza kuwa tofauti. Sisi vijana hatuwezi kufanya tabia mbaya ambayo wazee walikuwa wakifanya kitambo. Siasa za kupigana ziliisha kitambo sana. Siku hizi tunapigana wapi na akili. Na ni kwa sababu Wazoro ameshindwa kupigana na akili. Mnamuonanga kwa TV atashindwa kujibu hata maswali rais. Sasa kwa sababu akili imemshinda, amechukua polisi kuja kupiga wananchi huku risasi. Tunataka kumwambia Wazoro, siasa za vita, siasa za fujo ziliisha kitambo ukiwa umeshindwa na mawazo wacha watu wa mugirango kusini wachague mbunge mwingine ambaye anaweza kuwashughulikia mambo yao kwa kutumia akili lakini kama chama kama chama tumesema kama polisi hawawezi kumlinda simba arati wananchi wa kisi watalinda simba arati